Um, if you were to do the ocean row again and you could pick anyone to be on your boat, who would you choose? I would love to do it with my twin sister Hayley, but she completely won't do the whole pooing in a bucket thing, so she'll never agree to it, but that would be cool because she's like my best friend and, you know, I'd, I'd love that experience with her. Uh, what advice would you give to fellow ocean rowers? What advice would I give? I would say keep running this movie in your head of that moment when you're going to pull up to the dock on the other side and greeting your friends and family and sponsors. That moment and the thought of that moment is what will drive you through what will be a really challenging next year to get ready for this race. How did you keep your mind occupied during weeks of solitude? I think you're in a much better position than I was because, of course, I went, you know, 10 years ago when there wasn't iPods and an and, and ability to uh, communicate so easily with land and through websites and stuff and social media. Um, so I, I just had a bit of music and I also had, I did a, a two-hour Spanish lesson every day. I had a Spanish CD course and that was just great, just to have something to focus on. I did it at the same time every day. I knew that rowing shift was going to be my Spanish lesson. Are you now fluent after all those weeks? It was absolutely useless. I still can't <laughs> speak Spanish. Yeah, it didn't really work. Um, if you could prepare your boat or your supplies differently, what kind of things would you change around? I, you know, I would take a much wider variety of food. That is, <laughs> honestly, if you haven't got a big variety of food, it's so depressing. I had beef stew and dumplings for nearly every meal for three and a half months. And you get to the point where you're just like, we oh, just can't even cope with another mouthful. So, you know, it's never going to be great food because it's freeze-dried and expedition food, but I think just having a variety or even, you know, the odd chocolate bar really makes a big difference to morale. Given all that you've achieved, do you have plans for another adventure? Oh yeah, there's always plans for an adventure. Yeah, the plan next year is to go to the South Pole um, to lead a group of mums actually to the South Pole. Um, so it, that's a really different type of challenge for me, um, but I'm really excited about the there's a social message behind it that's really powerful for me at the moment. It's all about uh, getting the sponsorship signed up and um, building the project and, and the advantages for people to get involved with it. So, um, But it's looking good at the moment. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs>